Good day, HR leaders and directors of our time. What an exciting era to be in where we're crafting the future of workplaces one policy at a time. Now imagine a world where every employee feels appreciated and supported regardless of their personal commitments. It's like that warm, fuzzy feeling you get when you slip into your favorite pair of comfortable shoes, right? That's the world we're shaping when we talk about parent-friendly practices in businesses. Let's plunge right in comparing these practices in small to medium enterprises or SMEs with multinational corporations or MNCs. Think of it as a friendly neighborhood cafe as a coffee shop giant like Starbucks. Each has its charm and challenges and each can whip up a fabulous cup of joe. In the world of business, MNCs usually have a broader scope for implementing parent-friendly practices. It's like having a vast canvas to paint on. They can offer extensive benefits like extended maternity leave, on-site childcare facilities, and so forth. On the other hand, SMEs with their more limited resources might seem like they're trying to paint a masterpiece on a postage stamp. But SMEs have an advantage. Their size allows for flexibility and personalized solutions. That's where creativity comes in, just like your favorite barista crafting that perfect cup of coffee. Now, to illustrate the point, let's pull to Sherlock and examine some real-life examples. Unilever, a household name across the globe, has been applauded for its comprehensive parent-friendly policies. Offering 16 months of paid parental leave and part-time work options, they set the bar high like the coffee giant brewing that perfect espresso shot. Meanwhile, in the vibrant world of SMEs, we have Shopify, the local cafe of our analogy, championing flexibility. They've taken digital by default to heart, allowing employees to work remotely indefinitely. It's like ordering your favorite through from the comfort of your home. So you see, while the approach and resources may vary, both MNCs and SMEs are capable of brewing the perfect parent-friendly workplace blend. But how do you navigate this journey towards creating a parent-friendly workplace? Well, we have a roadmap ready for you, a sort of lonely planet guide for parent-friendly practices. The key stages are recognizing the diversity of parenthood, surveying employee needs, formulating realistic policies, promoting a supportive culture, and continuously monitoring and adapting. It's like brewing coffee, picking the right beans, grinding them to perfection, getting the water temperature right, and making sure you extract just enough to get that perfect taste. And speaking of questions, let's tackle some of the most frequently asked ones. How do you implement these practices across all branches of an MNC? Can an SME still support working parents with limited resources? How can you measure the effectiveness of your policies? We will answer all of these and more in our journey today. So remember, it's not just about brewing the perfect cup. It's about ensuring everyone gets a taste. In the end, it's about creating workplaces where being a dedicated professional and a caring parent isn't an either slash or proposition. It's about shaping a world where employees can effortlessly slide between their personal and professional roles, much like slipping into that comfortable pair of shoes. Welcome aboard, HR leaders, on this exciting voyage towards creating parent-friendly workplaces. Let's set sail. Remember, the future of work isn't something that just happens to us, it's something we're actively creating. So let's brew that perfect blend. Let's shape a future we'd all love to be a part of.